What's up everyone, Alex here. With a brand new Trails game out today, there's naturally going to be a ton of people asking where in the trail series they should start. So in this video, we're going to tackle that question head on. Ultimately, my goal for this video is to help newcomers find the courage to experience this franchise in the easiest way possible. Every time I see someone tell a newcomer that there's only one way to get into trails, nine times out of 10, that newcomer just gets too intimidated to start. And if we, its fans, ever want Trails games to arrive in the West sooner than they have been, it needs more supporters, not less. It is my firm belief that it only takes playing through one, just one, Trails game for new fans to discover the magic of the series. And at the end of the day, if that one game makes them want to play the rest, then I can consider my work complete. To start, I want to show you the sequential timeline of how one should ideally experience the Trail series. With the release of Trails into Reverie, there are now a total of 10 games in this timeline. If you want to start playing in this order, you'll have to work your way from Trails in the Sky first chapter and eventually get caught up to Trails into Reverie. The main reason why hardcore Trails fans recommend experiencing the games in this order is because every subsequent game has a connecting thread that ties its story and characters from one to the other. A form of FOMO, fear of missing out, if you will. But the biggest challenge of going through this route is that in order to fully experience the Trails in the Sky trilogy uninterrupted, you must have a PC to play these on. That's because Trails in the Sky the Third is only available on PC in the West, with the previous two games available on both PC and PSP. Thankfully, the requirements of the game aren't too high, and any modern PC should, in theory, be able to run all of the games in this trilogy. Unfortunately, because the rights to publish the Sky trilogy belong to Exceed in the West, there's very little hope of these games appearing on modern consoles. And if you prefer playing games on console, this might be a non-starter for you. While not ideal, later games do offer summaries that will help you get caught up in the stories, and other YouTubers have provided even more detailed summaries for people who would rather watch that. I highly recommend checking out Lady Virgilia's Trails in the Sky summary videos, as they do a fantastic job of getting you caught up on the entirety of the trilogy. I've linked these in the description of this video, by the way. From there, there are two other potential starting points in the Trail series in the form of Trails from Zero and Trails of Cold Steel. Of the two suggestions, I highly recommend starting with Trails from Zero. Zero and Azure, its sequel, all belong to the Crossbell Arc, a duology of Trails games that didn't see Western Shores officially until 2022. After having played through the Crossbell duology recently, I can unequivocally say that both games represent the very best the series has to offer, combining many of the lessons the developers learned from Sky while building towards the future in Cold Steel. Best of all, it's only two games, and these two serve as a fitting microcosm of how you can expect things to be interconnected to the larger Trails universe. That said, some of you might not take a shine to the idea of seeing 2D sprites on top of 3D backgrounds. That's where Trails of Cold Steel comes in. The Trails of Cold Steel series is a quadrilogy of games that ultimately culminate in Trails into Reverie, which just came out. I say it this way because Reverie serves as the ultimate conclusion to all of the events that started from Trails in the Sky first chapter, all the way up until Trails of Cold Steel 4. Reverie also sets up the next trail series, but let's focus on the now. Once you finish your first trails game, how you go about the series is completely up to you. I can tell you from talking to many, many, many trails fans that usually playing one of these games prompted them to either return to Trails in the Sky first chapter, or at least watch the summaries of the games up until where they're at in the timeline. The most important thing to remember is this. You get to experience the Trails universe in your own way, on your own terms. If you want to watch story chapters as opposed to playing them, fine by me. If you just want to read the summaries and Trails into Reverie as opposed to playing any of the previous games, that's fine too. My point still stands. It only takes one game 
to find an affinity towards the series. And while I've given you three potential starting points, chances are you might deem it necessary to find your own, and one that interests you the most. And that word, interest, is key. Because no matter how much I or any of the Hardcore Trails fandom feel that you should play the games, it only matters if you yourself are willing to put up with playing any one of these 10 games. That's it, plain and simple. That said, if you're still convinced that you want to play whatever game in the series you want, outside of the warnings and recommendations I've mentioned, you can too. Just do me a favor and check out my reviews of Reverie and Cold Steel 4 using the link shown, just to see if any of these suit your fancy. And if you started with Trails Apart from Sky First Chapter, please share your story in the comments below. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to hear your story. And above all else, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.